Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install Karama 3D. Simply go to our website, www.karama3d.com. Click on the Downloads button here to proceed to the Downloads page. Here you have found the various versions of Karama 3D for Rhino. I'm going to install the Rhino 7 version, so just click on this to download the setup file. Once the installation file has been downloaded, simply open it and proceed through the following steps. If you're looking to activate a license in the future, make sure to install it as a full version. Uh, if you don't have a license, you can also run it as a trial version, which has limited elements. Otherwise, you can also install a free version. Information can be found on our licensing page. Make sure to select the correct physical units for the Cranberry installation. These can be edited also at a later stage. Here, you can see the default directory for where uh, Karama 3D will be installed. It is usually installed in the plugins folder of your Rhino installation. And you have to just accept the license agreement. And we just have to click install. You need to make sure you have administrator rights to be able to install Karama 3D. Now the installation has been completed, we can open Rhino to check whether Karama has been installed correctly. Type Grasshopper to open Grasshopper. Once Grasshopper has been opened, you can go to the Karamba 3D tab where you can find all the Karamba 3D components. We can do one last check by using the license component and plugging the information into a panel. And the panel should read out the license information. In this case, we have not activated the license yet and it should read trial. In the next video, we'll show you how to activate your license. Thank you.